Well, we've got quite the smackdown in the uranium complex today. It looks like the broader stock market pullback is affecting uranium as well. However, that's not very surprising because the three assets that we were working with, UUUU, URNM, and URA, are all equities at the end of the day. And well, equities all correlate. We are down 3% of the NASDAQ and even the S&P 500 futures. Pretty much everywhere you look, there is red, there is blood in the streets, although there is a nice green spot within cryptocurrencies. So without any further delay, we're going to focus here first on the four U's, which is the energy fuels incorporated stock. And we were looking for a nice breakout through the pivot and UUUU didn't quite make it into the pivot. It actually underperformed relative to URNM and URA. And well, it just looks like it hit a little bumper, kind of like what you see in pinball. When you hit that bumper thing up there with your pinball, just comes right back down. That's what we had happen. So we have completely invalidated the initial rally setup. And as a matter of fact, we've pulled back so hard that this could easily be the actual wave two. So it could be something like this. Might be better classified like this. Uh, if I put the two here, that would be red two. More likely though, I think we have a little deeper to go for a larger wave two. So instead of back here, this could whole, whole thing could be a fake out B wave with a smackdown still to be finished. When you look at the MACD, you're starting to see it turn down a little bit or turn up a little bit. So I would not be surprised if we saw a bit of a bounce and then a lower low. That is UUUU. When we shift to our uranium ETFs, I'll start with North Shore Global Uranium Mining ETF, URNM. The story is exactly the same here as well. I have this blue alt pattern here, which sees this as a fake out bounce. Uh, now, URNM made more progress than <clears throat> the other two assets by far in that it actually got through our pivot zone. So this looked like it was poised to rally but then it smacked right back down through it. The rule of the pivot in Elliott, Elliott wave trading is that you got to get through it and you must hold support at the bottom of the pivot box, which is the 0.618 <clears throat> support. So if any of you tried any kind of leverage trade, if you bought any call options, I really hope you got out of those by the time we broke the 0.618 support. And uh, you actually had a gentleman's exit opportunity because we pulled back through the pivot zone and then we actually had a bounce. So this looks like a one and a two, and we're probably finishing off a third wave with the fourth wave to come, and then a final fifth wave to finish. So it looks something like this, one, two, maybe a little lower for the third, nice fourth wave, with the final pullback coming relatively soon. We are starting to see the MACD curl back upwards. So there are signs that we at least have a, <clears throat> we're getting near a local bottom, which could be the third wave bottom. And uh, just like with the four U's, I would expect this to be a five wave C wave, to finish off what is the actual larger second wave, shifting over to our final security, which is URA, Global X Uranium ETF. The story is exactly the same in which we had an opportunity to dump right here. I did mention, I believe in a community post or the last update that I did open a small position. I believe it was a 29 strike July call. And I got out of that relatively soon. I think I broke even maybe a small loss, but I basically stopped myself out and well, we are in the midst of a pretty ugly pullback. And it almost seems like uranium often gives us more clear signs of a crash than the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones do. So it was a pretty good clue to get out of your lungs. If you were leveraged up, <clears throat> I expect the same thing here with a one, two, and a three in progress. I expect a little bit lower for a third wave, maybe a fourth wave bounce, and a fifth wave to finish us off. And that would actually fit very nicely with our larger pattern, which... Uh, well, our fifth wave would get down to about the 61.8% retrace, so about $22, maybe a BTFD opportunity, especially if you're going non-leveraged. I'm actually going to do the same thing for the other asset here as well, URNM. <clears throat> if we get a 61.8% retrace from our what we're now calling the, the high for our first wave, that put us around just about $70, maybe a hair less than that. So you could interpret that as a one-two setup and the four U's may project a little differently, but uh, if we take the larger pattern, give us our, give ourselves a 61.8% retrace, that puts us at about $7.38. That is about where you could, that's where I would project our second wave to bottom. So again, not a place to go crazy with leverage because we need to see a clear bottoming sign. So I would like to see a five wave structure up, one, two, three, four, five up before I'm ready to go full leverage. So be patient, don't rush into this. There is, again, a lot more upside ahead. This is the bigger picture chart daily for the four U's. 
And you can see how uh, definitely looks like a classic correction, possibly an expanded flat. And we got a bit lower to go to complete this actual second wave. Now, if we do start really pulling back hard, <clears throat> there is a chance that this whole thing's been a fake out so far and we will get that lower low that has not come off the chart yet for obvious reasons. And <clears throat> one could argue that this is actually a fourth wave as well. You have a one, two, three, four, with a fifth wave to come. We switch to North Shore, URNM. I don't know what happened here. It can't seem to render. So I'm going to come back to that in a jiffy. <clears throat> URA, Global X, Uranium ETF. We got a maybe five up already. Could be a one, two. Same applies. We should go a bit lower, <clears throat> not too much lower, $20, $19 mark before we have a nice sharp reversal to get that third wave we're looking for. Let's see if we can get North Shore to appear this time. Uh, not sure what's going on there, but the story is the same regardless. So <clears throat> rule of the game is to be patient. If you hadn't gotten out of your longs already, up to you what you want to do. Maybe you have enough data. You bought it far enough out in expiry. That should not worry. <clears throat> Maybe prudent to hold on to that. However, if we start breaking support, it might be time to get out of those positions. Don't be left holding the bag because we do have... Excuse me, quite a downside set in place because again, we did not quite go deep enough for a standard second wave overall. So I'll have some more updates coming out next week. Subscribe so that you don't miss those. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.